everyone. It's Job. I hope you're doing well. Today, we are discussing my favorite stationery and art supplies and different tools that I came across in 2021. This is just like a year end wrap up. And by year end, I know it's 2022 already, but I didn't get a chance to do this in 2021. And I really wanted to share all of my favorites. So we'll just get started. We'll start with like stationery tools or like things that I like to use when I'm journaling and getting creative. First up, You've probably seen this already. I've talked about this a bunch already. And in my like current favorite stationery in the middle of the year, um, this is one of the items. I know it looks a little bit like, I don't know. It looks a little bit intimidating, but this is called the Cropodile from We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, this is a two-in-one item. This actually hole punches two different sizes, a smaller hole and a larger hole. And then you have uh, the portion which allows you to add these rivets. I think that's what they're called yeah rivets eyelets eyelets or rivets doesn't matter interchangeable and these just are fun because you can attach things to journal spreads in like a creative way so i'm going to show you what it looks like in a journal i really like using this um, when i'm attaching like a tip in it's nice and fun and this is what the eyelet or rivet looks like uh super fun very like tactile and it's just like a fun tool to use uh, i know this is not necessary you can always just glue things in but I, I think if you're wanting to spice up a spread and you want a little bit of an interactive element this is your tool next up we've talked about um the sachi hada inks a lot and i've talked about my favorite limited edition ones but if i had to choose one ink to be my stamping ink that's not black aside from black i think it would be this color this is decayed leaf this is such a nice green i'm just gonna do this a live stamping right now um it's so so nice it's um one of my favorite stamp uh inks ever the color is vibrant um but also muted i know that doesn't make sense but once i stamp it it'll make sense it's just a nice um it's just a nice color <laughs> um so this is what it looks like it's it's not too too bright but it's it's crisp it's clean the lines are nice um it's like a proper khaki color um or olive green which is one of my favorite colors ever <laughs> uh so yeah that's that's the one ink that i was really into this year and i'm so glad that i got into it and then this is one of the newer brands that I wanted to talk about that I had a chance to use and I actually just stamped it. Um, I just stamped this one. This is just me trying to clean the stamp because I'm too lazy. Um, but this is from Raw Market. So it's a Singaporean um, based shop. It's a lovely store. I, I shopped online I think once but I really want to support their shop again. Um, the the aesthetic is very like soft light academia like vintage um they have a film collection that i really like and they also have an apothecary um kind of collection that i really like too these are my four favorite stamps that i purchased from them i have another a few other stamps but these are the ones that i reach for a lot and i use this one like almost daily it's such a versatile stamp it's just like a circle with a line through it and it has the word no to um to symbolize number or it's a short form for number so you can use this for the date you can use it for a whole bunch of stuff i love it this one has like moon phases on it this one is i don't know it just reminds me of like a vintage postage stamp but it actually says alchemy 2021 dream a little dream of me Ooh, that's very mysterious and again i, I love film photography and when i saw this film uh strip uh, stamp i knew i had to have it super nice go check their their shop out they're a small business based out of singapore they ship internationally and the stamps and the pet tapes and the washi tapes are of the highest quality and i really really enjoy their stuff um next up we have a stapler i know it just looks like a regular stapler but this is a mini stapler this this is purchased from daiso but the interesting fact about this is that it is a stapler that swings and it can uh, staple in like a 90 degree angle this is nice if you need to get into um, a journal spread and um, it's a little too um, 
it's a little too hard to get into like a certain um, place. So if I wanted to like staple something um, vertically, I can just swing this to whichever side and then I'll be able to staple something vertically. So the staple will look vertical. And I also like this. This is the main reason why I actually put this on this list is that it's really good for lazy book binding because you can uh, staple a journal insert together um, without, you know, using um, like a, a, a needle and thread. And um, yeah, it's just if you're into book binding or you want to make an insert, this is my go to because um, it's easy. You just staple it and it's done. So you would just put a staple. For example, if this was just, you know, loose leaf paper, I could just staple right here um, to get it in the spine and once here and then it's good to go. Um, the only downfall with this is that it's a smaller um, stapler and it's it takes mini staples so it's not the most heavy duty. You can't staple like a huge stack of paper with this but it's nice for also just getting you know a little piece of ephemera on the on the on the page so yeah that's that and I think that's it for tools. Um, we will move on to actually no there's one more there's one more <laughs> this is the rapesco um punch uh this is just a hole puncher for um ring organizers and this takes this can fit a whole bunch of different um like ring configuration so if you like the mini five like i do it works it works with pocket it look it also works with a5 personal compact i don't even know what all of these mean um and all all these different planner sizes but i use um a mini five so i just have to move these tape the the little holes to the certain lines where it says um mini or pocket and then i'm ready to punch um and i really like this because I don't know, it just allows for flexibility. I also have, you know, more ring organizers now, so it's really handy. Um, this is my plotter narrow and it works for that, but it also works for, you know, a mini five size like this. It's just a good trusty all-in-one tool. Um, I do think that the, the holes that it punches are huge and, you know, they, it could be smaller, but that's just like a small, tiny gripe. I still think it's a fantastic, um, punch and i do want to get like a nicer punch but i talked myself out of it because this is fantastic and i only need one punch for all of these you know different planner sizes so highly recommend i you don't need to get in the pink but it's a nice added bonus right uh but yeah that's it um let's move on to writing utensils so i really 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 like this uniball jet stream multi-pen this is the pen that comes with the hobonichi and i was like oh it's just like another multi-pen but it just writes so good and it's actually not gel ink this is a ballpoint and i really have come to love the uni jet streams it's just like a nice fine tipped ballpoint pen that's trustworthy i actually got a um uniball Jetstream, I think Edge, I think this year, and you know th this would have been lumped into this, but I just like how this fits, you know, multi colors. But I really like this. I love how I don't know. It's just a nice writing experience. It's very smooth. I you know don't need to talk about this too much because I think a lot of people have tried this, but it's been a really good like ballpoint pen to reach for um, when I just need a, a reliable writer. So that's that um this is i talk about this all the time this is the pilot multi-ball um it is not a multi-pen um but i believe the word multi is in the title of this or like name of this pen because it can write on multiple sur surfaces it can write on glass i can write on this no on this um table right now it's but it's still like a nice i think gel like consistency of an ink it's i don't know if it is gel ink maybe it's ballpoint ink but yeah it it behaves like a ballpoint in that it's um permanent um and it doesn't really smudge once it dries you can write on plastic you can write on acetate you can write on glass i like this because i work with a lot of pet tapes now for example this we'll talk about this a little bit later um, but if you want to write on top of it this is you know your your pen um this one comes in like 0 0.7 and i think there might be a finer version but doesn't matter because I'm so in love with the ink inside of this thing and I just think it's like a must-have in your like collaging multimedia arsenal just because 
you can write on whatever and it'll you know still look good so there's that um and then i don't know why it has taken me forever to get on the the zig clean colored dot wave but i am into it so these are by zig kurtaki these are the clean colored dots there's uh, i have two versions i have um like the regular like dual tip version so there's a dot side and then a 0.5 millimeter felt tip and then there's just the plain old single dot um version and i my favorites are actually these ones the pastel edition um ones because they just look so good with planner planner stuff so i actually have been this is more recently but i have been doing a little bit more financial tracking because i you know need to not buy as much stationery. um i don't know what i can show you guys uh let's see let me just let me grab something to to censor some of this stuff but so as you can see it's it's nice and pastel and i just like that it's like a nice marker for things but it's not it doesn't scream at you um and i also think that it's just nice uh the, the pastel ones for um adding dots to a spread but it not being too like powerful um and then from the regular collection of colors i really like the green and the yellow surprise surprise the brown one's really nice too and then this like cornflower blue is really nice i'm just listing every color now but i think these are nice if you're um like me and use a ton of dot stickers and you like spend a lot of money on dot stickers um these might be a nice kind of hack for you because you can add a dot to a page without you know using another sticker and it's nice because i put a lot of dots um everywhere so this is a nice like uh, solution to that it's a little bit more cost effective these are kind of pricey but um i feel like your return on an investment is quickly like the turn it's the, the turnover for your your cost comes back to you real quick that was a really hard way to, to explain return on an investment uh but yeah this is the the zig clean color dots can't believe it took me until 2021 to finally try these out um and then i think the last thing that i want to mention is another multi-pen I, I don't know I'm, I'm just 2021 was the year of multi-pens and i don't feel like i never really like use these on stream or on like video a lot just because i like using my fountain pens for journaling but i really like the friction multi-ball because as um a teacher this is nice to like use on the day-to-day -day. i use a friction pen like a lot just because i like writing with pen but i am very messy and <laughs> i make a lot of mistakes and this is a nice way to have the best of both worlds and i like the 0 0.38 um like tip for the friction pens i i really recommend both honestly um but i next year or at least in 2022 i want to actually try out different fun colors for these but that's it for writing utensils and freeze this is a sponsored portion of the video just kidding though no, it's just a little plug and a little commercial to say that my shop job's journal shop on etsy has restocked with some pet and washi tapes for pre-order i am so fortunate and lucky that the first initial release of the pet and washi tapes of the home collection sold out so there was a lot of people who voiced um that they would love a pre-order so there are pre-orders open now in the shop and and they will ship out in March 2020. So if you are still interested in the tapes and the washies, uh, go check out the store. The information is down below. Uh, wow, this was truly a sponsored portion of the video, but it's me, so it's not some random ad. Okay, uh, back to the rest of the video. Okay, so we're in a different subcategory now um, within the writing utensils family, and I wanted to talk about fountain pens and ink. There's... Um, I guess like a lot I could talk about. So I tried to narrow it down to one fountain pen that I'm like, yes, this is amazing. Um, and three inks that I've kind of talked about a lot already, but I'm still really in love with. Uh, but the pen that I wanted to talk about is this Twisby uh, VAC 700 R in the Iris colorway. Holy crap, this is amazing. I'm not even like into unicorn like colorways. I 
love warm colors and if you've been on the channel um, for long enough you know that i love like oranges and yellows and like olive greens and anything like autumnal and warm um and so like this is not the type of thing that i would go for uh maybe younger job would but i don't know there's just something about this pen i think it's the weight the way it writes um i really like um this part of i don't know what section this is called but where you place your thumb <laughs> uh when you're writing with your fountain pen i don't know i the the terminology uh escapes me but i don't know it's just such a nicely built pen and it's so unique and i just love how it writes it's again like a perfect weight for me um i always thought that i liked lighter pens and smaller pens and i do but i think this made me appreciate like a, a solid pen and i've always really enjoyed writing with twisby ecos but this is you know the same experience but a little bit heightened um and a little bit more luxurious at least um i like the um diamond 580s and this is like just like writing with that so this is amazing i love it the colors are really cool um yeah and i would choose a whole bunch more of from the fountain pens but a close um runner up would be my yellow twisby in an extra fine i've this is the year that i actually tried buying an extra fine again um and i really liked it it's not like my favorite i still love a medium but the extra fine is nice and it makes my writing look a lot neater because i do write with finer um finer pens when i'm writing with like non-fountain pens but when i'm using fountain pens i like a little thicker nib because i like to see the different sheening and shading properties in my inks but yeah this is one of my favorite pens of 2021 so glad i got to purchase it in december i know it's it, i didn't get to use it a lot throughout the year but i loved it so much in december that i thought it was worth mentioning and then in terms of inks i have well i have three inks that are supposed to be in front of me but Oh, right here. It rolled off. Um, one is a sample and two are bottles that I own. The first one that I need to mention is Sailor Manyo Neko Yanagi. This is the Ube ink um, that we call in the stationary stream community. I just love it. It's so unique. And I think just like this pen does something to me, this ink does something to me. I just love how it writes. And it's the perfect like purpley blue cornflower blue into lavender ink it kind of shades into purple but um it's i think it's supposed to be like a blue ink but it, it actually no it, i think it is supposed to be purple i don't know it's one of those inks that you really can't classify it's just a lovely ink it shades like crazy um, i love it so much and it just has like that really like fascinating quality to it i just love how it looks different every time i write with it um it's it's such a reliable writer in all of my pens that i've inked it into um and yeah that's why i chose it the next one is robert osser's avocado this color is fantastic you can see it right here um it's a nice green ink i think this is like i don't know if avocado is the right name because it doesn't it doesn't really scream avocado to me for me it's like a true green like if i had to recommend like a solid green it would be this one it's very neutral i thought it would be a little bit more of a cool tone green um like when i look at it i think it's a cool tone green but it's, it's definitely a neutral green and it's not too warm because as you can see i have jay herbans um uh, vert olive why did i say it in a fake french accent vert vert olive or ver olive <laughs> i don't think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it anyways moving on uh but yeah the robert oster avocado is nice it's just a nice trusty green ink it also shades like crazy at least in my pens and i really like that quality about it um and it's just a again a trustworthy green probably one of my favorite greens kind of controversial i know there's a whole bunch of green inks but i love avocado so much it's up there and i definitely can't wait to use it in a whole bunch of different pens this year and then lastly i talked about this again in the mid-year kind of favorites i don't i think i need to stop talking about it because like we all know that job loves diamine golden honey it's like the perfect warm toned yellowy orange amber color um you can compare it to diamine golden honey here and lamy mango it's a definitely darker and it does you know speak um not speak for itself well it does speak for itself but it really is properly named because 
I think honey is the perfect way to describe it. Especially when you see honey in like a jar, like when you're holding it in the light, it looks lighter. And then when it's like in, in the jar and you know, you're not shining a light through it, it's a little bit darker, almost like brown. That's, I, I think it's the same thing in the pen. And it also shades really nicely too. Uh, but yeah, I really love these three inks. These are like... I think my three top inks um one of the um runners up i think would be i didn't get to use it enough that's why i, I didn't want to put it on this list but i did want to show it to you this is a robert oster's van pen 86 so this is um a robert oster collaboration with vancouver pen shop this is a limited edition ink i just love this ink it feels like it has a like a like a beige with i don't know like green and possibly like pink slash purple undertones i don't know if it's that's just me but you can just see some of like that that shading it just feels like it's very dimensional and then when you write with it it looks a little bit more conventional but i just love how it's like a dusty brownie gray it's not your typical like gray it's not your typical brown it's like right right in between and i think this would be like a nice like daily writer if you don't want black and you know i i um i teach so i feel like i can use any <laughs> any color pen like i'm not um restricted to like just using blacks and blues so i definitely use this a lot at work and it's really really nice uh but yeah that's it for the fountain pens and inks um we're almost there let's talk about different notebooks and different systems i think the first thing that i want to mention is um this notebook this is actually um what i use um in december daily and this is the bomb kuchin or bomb kuchin studio um travelers company collaborative insert this is um i forget what it's called there's a special name for it but this is the insert that's craft paper with white dot grid so it's actually quite faint but i really really love how it looks it's it's a craft again craft notebook um with white dots so instead of a regular dot grid notebook where it's white paper and black or grayish dots this has white dots um it's really hard to capture on screen in real life the contrast is a little bit better but i think on screen it kind of washes it out but it's definitely like a craft with white dot um, i really liked using this it's super unique and it adds a little twist to the classic craft insert which i really enjoy using um, but yeah i really enjoyed using this and i think it's very unique and then the other notebook inserts or other notebook systems that I want to talk about are rings. Rings definitely took over my life in 2021, but not any, not just any ring um, organizer. I really enjoyed two different types of rings. I really liked mini rings. So when there's only five rings to it and I really enjoyed tiny rings so ring organizers that have tiny itty bitty rings that don't fit too much i know a lot of people use ring organizers and like they fill it up and they have th these huge rings and it's a common thing i think within like the the ring organizer ring planner community to like upsize rings so they fit more but i just love how sleek the tiny rings are and i just love how um yeah how sleek they are and how easy to write over top of them it is so i don't feel like it's uncomfortable writing over top of these rings and with the mini five i just like how pocketable it is and i bring this everywhere like there's some cash in here um there's some gift cards i bring this everywhere it fits in my pants pocket or my coat pocket really easily um yeah i i really love these two systems this is a plotter narrow and this is a filofax mini in the ochre colorway in the malden series i guess um and then the last notebook system that i really enjoyed but didn't get a chance to kind of show you i think maybe a few videos here and there but i really enjoyed using the hobo nichi weeks as like a little um kind of creative planner uh slash journal and currently in 2022 i have the spring edition i liked um using this to log see in december i didn't use it because of december daily i really liked using this to log my food and health and everything so i really like this it's 
keeps me accountable. I honestly have not had a chance to kind of really sink my teeth into like my health and wellness goals this year, but I know this will be a good buddy to use this year. And yeah, those are the notebook systems that I really enjoyed. And then again, an honorable mention to my Passport Size Traveler's Notebook uh, because I really like journaling in here in my mini moments journal. I've talked about this pretty much. Uh, like I, I've mentioned it here and there. Um, and I really love using this because it's a nice way to memory keep and kind of focus on the art of collaging and doodling instead of, you know, um, writing and uh, yeah, it's less about the the words and more about, you know, the act of putting washi and PT and stickers together to make a fun, cohesive collage. So I really enjoy this and it makes me um, makes me feel really creative when I work in this. And then the last part, the stickers and tapes. So this was really hard. I, I didn't know what to choose, but um, I tried to narrow it down. So I have two sticker sheets that I want to talk about. Um, the first one is from Sue Atelier. Uh, this is amazing. I finally tried these out. I've seen Sue Atelier like from a bunch of different stores. It's a Korean um, stationery company. I'm pretty sure I probably purchased Sue Atelier when I was living in Korea, but I didn't know it. Uh, but I really like this number 1118 uh, sticker sheet or the mood sticker sheet. I call this like the happy face sticker sheet, but there's just different moods. It's not just happy faces. There's like sad, angry. And I like the color scheme they use, which is navy blue, um, yellow, beige, and black. Um, super cute. I love this. I've been kind of like saving them because I went and used a lot of these um, consecutively and I'm trying to make it last. I purchased this probably at the tail end of summer and I've been pretty conservative with it but I'm trying to make it last but I have another sheet coming soon so I feel like I can just use it now. <laughs> but this is really nice. It's just it's just a cute way to add like a mood sticker to like I don't know uh, a daily journal page or like a weekly page. Uh, this next sticker sheet this is actually a sticker pack which is really unique. This is called Urban Boy from our studio x hank's diary it comes with three different types of stickers just like the clear uh the yeah, actually no it comes with clear it comes with matte white and then it comes with washi paper um stickers and i really like this because i'm not really hoarding this like i use this i kind of reach for this quite frequently honestly but i just love that um there's uh different types of sticker paper in there because some days you want an opaque sticker you have these some days you want like something that kind of melts into the page where you have um you can use the the washi material and then sometimes you just want a plain old clear sticker um and have a little bit of gloss and shine in your journal page you have the clear one uh yeah i think this is super cool and i, I love the motif it's like very me it's uh there's like a lot of <laughs> there's some sassy sheets here like I'm not sheets, like sassy like stickers. So like if I'm angry, I'll use one of these middle finger stickers. But I don't know. It's just like I think there's there needs to be more sticker sheets like this. It's just more like unfiltered. And as an urban boy, this is perfect because a lot of these things I use, like hair wax, my keys, I wear hats. <laughs> there's a traveler's notebook right there. Um, a coffee grinder, stands like this feels like it was made for me. And I have those glasses too. So yeah, this is subtly a job's <laughs> a job's journal approved sticker sheet because there's a lot of things that apply to me but i feel like these are equally cute for anybody um and then we'll talk about the tapes oh i love washi tape and pet tape and everything so this was kind of hard um but for the washi tapes i chose three and then i chose two pet tapes which are clear tapes the pet tape that i chose that i honestly don't think I've used this too much, but I just love it so much. And every time I use it, I'm like, oh, it's made the spread. It makes it look so good. This is from Mr. Eggplants. This is like, it looks like um, a film canister or a film roll, specifically a Kodak Portra 400 roll. It just looks exactly like it. So this is the Memento washi. I think it's a four millimeter washi. Um, it just has like fine print on it. I honestly haven't had it like stopped and read what it says on here but it just looks exactly like it looks exactly like um 
film canister tape um, or a film canister and i really like it uh, again it's by mr eggplants and it's just a really nice colorway and i'm a sucker for a warm tone yellow and this has it so i'm very uh, really happy with it um, and then this is like gold to me this is classic -y grid tape in the green and white or green and cream colorway and this is the 18 millimeter version it is it's no longer being made it's being discontinued by classic -y, which is again a stationary company classic -y makes one of my favorite I guess I guess it is my favorite stationary brand um, one of my favorites actually um, and I'm so bummed that they're not making this anymore I bulk purchased a whole bunch uh, <laughs> because I was so scared that it's gonna be gone and i'm not gonna have a chance to purchase it anymore so i bought a whole bunch of rolls from paper plus cloth because they put it on sale um i'm sure there's a few more places that are um carrying this i believe there's a set of three tapes that have this green and beige colorway and then the brown and beige one which i'm still kind of hunting down i have the thicker four millimeter the four centimeter version of it or the 40 millimeter version really nice but the 18 and the 12 are really nice too 12 mil millimeter version this is the 18 uh but yeah there's it comes with a set of three and then there's another like blue red and white uh grid too that come in a pack so if you're still looking for it i think yoseka has it uh, i think they might be i don't know for me i haven't really done some hunting but i think they still have it um i'll link it down below if you're looking for it because i think every person should stock up on this because it's such a versatile tape and if you don't like this then you'll like the brown and white one because it's so uh neutral but i think both of these are like extremely neutral and very usable in many different use cases uh, but yeah that's one of my favorites for this year it'll probably be a forever favorite because I love it so much and then the last tape i think or a series of tapes that i really liked i think i mentioned this actually in my other favorites video this is the um uh, yohaku samples that i purchased from jay's cozy corner i'm so happy i bought samples of these because it's like a test run for me to purchase the full roll uh, but i really like the kind of simple motif to it it has like a line paper motif in this one and it's just very my style very collaged very like i don't know this looks very effortless and chic to me it's not overtly vintagey or like harsh vintagey it's very light and i mean you can take it in any direction and i think this is a really good background or accent washi when you're just kind of like focused on writing and it really goes with my style because i don't actually gravitate towards washi with like drawings or uh, or like doodles on them uh, i really like patterned washies just like this like it just repeats it's very simple um and yeah i i really recommend the yohaku brand tapes if you want samples you can buy it from jay's cozy corner not sponsored i just really like um purchasing from there and i believe tokubetsu memory also seri sells <laughs> did i just say seri sells uh these tapes as well uh, and then last but not least um some pet tapes i have been a fan of pet tapes in 2021 it was the year of pet tapes for me it, i was so inspired that i launched my own in the shop again thank you to everyone who has recently supported the shop um the reception was really big so i'm actually gonna do pre-orders for more of the tapes because they sold out so again thank you for helping and supporting the shop um but there will be more um but yeah this is not a time for plugging the shop. This is the time to talk about this tape. So this is, um, again, I'm just a fanboy of Hank's Diary, one of the creatives or the artists behind our studio based in Taiwan. Um, this is an hours studio tape in collabor in collaboration i can't speak today with shiwu uh, I, they're also a stationary brand um, and i love this tape this is called the disconsonant tape there's another version of this tape that i really like i have both roles it's consonant and disconsonant and uh disconsonant is the one that's colorful and then consonant or might i might be flipping it I'll, I'll leave the information down in the description bar below uh, but yeah i really like this one it's super colorful and i love how i don't know maybe i've i've geeking out about it because i'm uh like making my own tapes now but i 
think this tape is genius because you know there's like a whole bunch of elements to it but if you flip it around you can see that certain parts actually have white ink printing on them so they're opaque so this ear is opaque but there's little parts around it that are transparent or translucent I, I don't know why i keep mi mixing it up it's translucent not transparent translucent so like these squiggles all of these little boxes are translucent so they kind of will look differently on the spread and i like how some of these are kind of off kilter a little bit so some parts will be trans uh translucent some will be or more opaque so you can see on my hand this is translucent and this is trans uh this is not transparent this is opaque so i don't know it just looks super cool and you can like fussy cut different pieces of this tape out and it's just really fun it's really good if you're into layering like me and i don't know these just feel like endless like the the circulation is one meter so the loop is really long um and yeah it's it's such a cute design and i think it's very versatile um, especially if you're into color this is perfect but if you're not into color as much there's another version of this which again i'll link down below and then lastly this is from miss hoeg um i'm actually not sure where she's based i think she's a taiwan based artist as well oh her work is so nice it has like this whimsical but also like historical aspect to it this is called the thrift store or vintage store washi tape and i love it so much i love thrifting i love vintage shopping and vintage shops and secondhand items um and there's just like i don't know it just reminds me of like someone's grandma's apartment or house like the the, the way things are drawn it has like that very vintage old school feel but the illustration style is very loose and uh, whimsical and you know it's some things are off kilter some things are um i don't know like there's a doodly aspect to it but some of it is also very like intricate like look at this dresser it's so beautiful like it looks like it took a while to dry but like you know there's things that look a little bit more doodly and sketchy like these uh, flowers and then this is printed on um an opaque like um pet or uh, sorry a translucent pet it's not just like the the clear gloss like you can feel it too it feels um like it feels a little bit more matte and not as slick and you can see it's kind of frosted and i really like that uh too it has such an interesting quality to it whereas you know this is a this is pretty much clear gloss it's nice and shiny actually no this is not clear gloss this is also matte and translucent. Come on, Job. Will I ever? It's like an, an inside joke at this point. But let me let me just compare it to like this PET tape. This is clear gloss. Like it's nice and shiny. Whereas this is a little bit more milky and frosted. Hey, everyone. This is voiceover Job coming in to say thank you so much for watching this video. You made it to almost like a an hour worth of rambling about my favorite stationery. And again, this is my heartfelt, sincere thank you to everyone who has kindly supported me in 2021 and has watched videos and commented. It was really an interesting year, but we made it and I couldn't have done it without this lovely stationery community. So thank you so much for hanging out and watching the videos. Again, the shop is live. I have pre-orders open for the washi tapes that um so amazingly sold out on launch day thank you again to everyone who supported my humble small shop the home collection of pet and washi tapes are available for pre-order um on the shop right now uh thank you so much for watching everyone i'll see you in the next one hopefully with some journaling videos because it's been a while since we got to journal together so i'll see you in the next one bye everyone love you so much and take care Thank you.